Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a hip pocket. Some of you may know it as an inset pocket. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. And here we have an example of a hip pocket. As you can see it's a shaped pocket. It doesn't necessarily have to be round. It could be any shape that you want actually. Um, it has an inner lining for the shape of the pocket and the back Part of the pocket and one of the reasons it's called a hip pocket because it does actually um, come across the hip area so that is what you call a hip pocket or some of you may know it as an inset pocket I've got a sample of the pocket here for you this is going to be the garment and there's remove that we've got the inner pocket and that's out of lining fabric and one of the reasons for that is so that there isn't so much bulk in the um, garment itself and also it's easy to slip your hand in and out of the pocket and then you have the back pocket and I suppose one of the reasons it could be referred to as um, an inset pocket is this section here is kind of inset shaping here so this is what you called a hip pocket a quick tip for the garment itself is to put a strip of fusible interfacing along the shaping of the pocket. This helps to kind of reduce the stretching. If you don't have any stay stitching would do. Um, I've got the lining and the front section of the garment. Um, they are right side to right side and I'm going to sew along this edge here. Okay. I'm going to use some contrasting thread just to show you what it looks like. Remember, always use the same fabric or as near as possible to the fabric that you're actually using for your sewing project. I'll just reverse there and remove that so you can see what I've done there just going to cut my tails off and then I'm going to trim and grade this edge here and you can see at the back is the facing there I've now trimmed and grayed the pocket so as you can see I've also clipped into it because it's a curved edge and this this clipping actually allows the curve to, to lie better and also the trimming and grade is, is to make sure that you have um, as least possible bulk within the seam. The next row of stitching I need to do is the under stitching which is going to be keeping this lining to the back of the skirt the wrong side so I'm going to be doing it onto the lining roughly a couple of millimetres away from the seam line. Just get my needle in and just just take your time because you are working around um, a curve and make sure you are as close as possible to seam line but not on the seam line itself and as I said it's just to keep the lining in place so it doesn't show on the right side of the garment so just keep them keep both of your hands at the front and just keep it splayed apart until you come to the end. I'm almost there. There we go. And then just okay. See now that should go nicely to the back of the garment and pressed in position. I've now pressed the inner pocket and as you can see we now have a nice beautiful curve and that will now stay in place because I've done the under stitching. Now we need to get the back of the pocket and the shape looks like this and then we'll position that. Remember you've been matching up all your markings on there. I will just flip this so you can have a look underneath. So I'll put in match up your mark, your notches or your balance marks whichever one you call it. So I'll just put a couple of pins and then I'm going to sew from 
this point here all the way around. I'm now at my machine and sewing the back pocket onto the lining of the pocket. Remember, I'm not sewing onto the garment, just the lining of the other pocket. Can pin that as I go. go and I shall finish at this point here there we go back stitch and remove there we have the lining that side and the back of the pocket that side the pocket is now sewn so we've got the front of the garment we've got the inner lining of the pocket there and that's nicely being pressed and under stitch and if I just show you this section here you can see where the interfacing is and I've um, trimmed and graded and the notch the shaping of the pocket so it not, not lies beautifully and this is the lining of the pocket and the back of the pocket now you may notice here that I have an opening here now because this is only the front section of the garment and if you can imagine this is going to be the um, side seam so don't imagine it because it will be the side seam of the garment and you can either sew this in place before actually putting on the other section and then sewing it into the seam or you can just put a couple of pins in like so and this is how I would do it and then I'll put the other garment on top and then I will sew my seam well that is how you sew a hip pocket if you found that useful please do make a comment in the box below and I'll see you in my next video.